Right, welcome back to another video. This time we have a JCB416 to sort out. So the uh, pins for the steering rams. Yeah, these pins are loose in the chassis on both sides. So I think we'll have to line bar these through. So I've got her in the workshop, I've got her in full lock. My first job, I'll take that pin out, take the ram out and see what's what. So I've got the steering ram removed, you can see what the issue is now. This is a new pin. Right, so what I'm going to have to do with this is line bar it through, make some bushes and press some bushes in I think, because there isn't much space. Ideally, I'd line bar it through, run all the way around the hole with weld, build the hole back up with weld and then line bar it through, back to pin size again. But I don't think I'll be able to get in to do that, so I think the best option is to line bar it through and put some bushes in. So I've got the bar in now, it's a fairly fiddly job because everything's in the way, there's pipes in the way up there, so I've got I've got a ratchet strap just tweaking them out of the way and a clamp just to just to say pulling them out of the way, so I've got clearance behind the back of the bar. And then underneath this block here was in the way, so that was another fiddly job getting that bearing in. But they're in now, I just need to tack them, tack them onto the frame. I've got my alignment cones in to line the bar up with the original holes. So I've just got my bar set up back in the milling machine just to drill another hole in between the other holes because the two are far apart. Because the mag drill only has 80 mil of travel and the holes are 150 mil apart, they're often not in the right place. So if I drill one in between, 75 mil apart should be better than Right, so I've got an extra set of holes drilled into my line boring bar now. Um, hopefully it should match up better with my mag drill. Right, so I've got the bar mounted back in. I've got the mag drill set up on the top there. Um, I've got the cutter in as far as it'll go into the bar, but it's still quite a big cut. So we'll have to see how it goes. Right, so I've got the first cut done. Um, I've only just to say got enough room to get my dial gauge in so I can move the tool out. The pin is 45mm and I'm going to cut it out as near as 55mm as I can. Uh, it doesn't matter exactly because I can make the bush to suit the hole. So this cut should be near enough 55mm. Right, so I've got that top one done now. I've got the tool set up in that hole now, ready to do the bottom one. I've got my 
gauging again, I've just moved my tool on 1.7 mil. And that should be the final cut out to 55 mil. Got them both line board through now. I've taken the bearings off and I've made these bushes to go in. That's the top one, that's the bottom one. Um, top one can't come out because the, the pin, like the top of the pin, will hold it in, and then obviously it can't drop down because the ram is in the way. The bottom one, I was going to machine a lip, I was going to line bar a lip into that, and then a lip on the bush to stop that dropping through, but I thought I might as well just machine lip on the bottom of it, push that up through the bottom, and then I can just, I can then I can weld that bush round onto there. I thought it'd be easier, quicker. It's a lot easier machining a lip on the lathe than it is line boring a lip. So that's how I'm gonna do that. And then I just quickly machine that up just to push the bushes in with. I've got that set up, ready to press in now. And how I'm pressing it in is I've got a 50 ton bottle jack sat in there, which is a bit of box section on. Hopefully that should press in nice. There's a 0.15 of a millimetre interference fit on them bushes. Right, so that's the top one pressed in. Right, so ready to press the second one in now. So I've got this side uh, done now, the pin is a nice tight fit. So that side's all back together now. Uh, the pin is a nice tight fit. I had to tap it in with a big hammer to get it to go in, so that's nice and tight. Um, and I've welded that bush round so it can't drop out underneath. Uh, that's one side done. I'm doing the other side now.
So we've got exactly the same process to do on this side. I'm not sure if I showed you before, but this is how I've got the mag drill set up. So I've got a bit of plate clamped onto there, um, and then a bit of plate that the mag drill sticks to, and that's just tacked onto this bit of plate. Uh, it saves me having to tack anything actually onto the machine, so everything's tacked onto this bit of plate. And them clamps, you can get a lot of force with them clamps, so you know that's nicely secure on there. Um, I've got a ratchet strap across there, and just pulling them pipes out the way. If you look in there, the pipes were in the way of the bar. I've got another ratchet strap there pulling them back. So yeah, that's it all set up, ready. So that's it from this angle. There's one bearing on there, another bearing on there. I've only got three bolts in and then I can get me clamp in so I can measure my tool height. But it's pretty tight. I don't know if you'd have even got a proper line boring rig in there without having to weld some onto the machine to hold the line boring head. So I've got them both line barred through now. I'll make some bushes in the lathe to uh, to suit. So I've got my bar in the lathe. This is what I'm going to make the bushes out of. So I'll centre it, drill the hole through, bore the hole out in the middle, and then turn the outside diameter down to the right size. So I like to drill a pilot hole first because it just makes it easier when going through with a big drill. You don't have to work so hard turning the tailstock handle.
So I've got one more cut to do. I'm just going to wait for it to cool down a bit before I do the final cut. So that's the second two bushes made now, uh, we'll get them pressed in, same as the other side. So that is them now, both pressed in, bottom one's in, top one's in. I just have to do the same again and just weld round that. And it's job done. So I've got the bottom bush welded in now. Uh, they're both in, so I'll just put a bit of paint over it and then put it back together. So that's that side back together, rams back in. So that is the job complete. Um, the old mag drill line bar and rig is not ideal, but you got the job done and you could buy 30 mag drills for the price of one proper line bar and rig, which seems madness, but anyway. So I am doing more line boring jobs, so I might have to get some a bit better set up. Anyway, that'll do for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.